So, unwanted noise is a huge problem for many people. The pure sensory processing disorder, such as many autistic people, and not all pure sensory processing disorder, but some of them, it can cause huge amount of stress levels. For other people, also includes pure sensory processing disorder, especially auditory processing disorder, it can make it very hard to focus or understand other people around you. It can disrupt wildlife. But even for normal folks, it might be a distraction that if you have 40 different alarms going on, you might not be able to hear the most relevant alarm. So here are some ideas to try to make life less noisy with all the alarms and stuff going on. One is to make a better detectors for when to actually beep or not beep. So does a car that's backing up always need to make the beeping noise? If you have better sensors that could detect when people are nearby or in at certain places, and only then it will beep, maybe it doesn't always have to alert the whole neighborhood. That's just one example. Maybe the fire alarms don't have to go off as much if the, everyone's already evacuated. Or something like that. So that's kind of my first one. Another one is to have the alarms or something or sound be more directional so it doesn't bother any, everyone. So maybe like an alarm on the back of a car, instead just flash the noise directly behind it and where it's in more of a danger zone. And so a variety of ways of making sound more directional with complex, with, multi, with speakers with multiple different parts. The disadvantage of all of this, though, is um, it might not work always the best if they have environments with obstruction, something that deflects noise or something. And you also have to design a fancier device that's more likely to break, break or more expensive. So those are part of the first thing I've mentioned. But technology getting better and better and more and more reliable, so that's coming less and less of a drawback. Instead of using sound or something, having flashing lights or lights might be a good alternative sometimes or in conjunction. And lights can be even more one directional or directional in how they spread, meaning for even more precise ways of doing all of this stuff. The fourth one seems a little odd, better quality, but what I mean by that is if you have better quality detectors that don't trip as much by mistake, well that saves you a lot of noise. I've done a lot of times with fire detectors that they trip by mistake, and I've had a whole thing about making fire detectors better, a link in the video section where you can look up. There's a better quality stuff that's less likely to have an emergency or something like that less likely that you need to have a warning detection system go off, or less likely that warning detection system goes off. Having um, better predictions of like disasters and stuff like that, or when it, you actually need to do it, might cause less false alarms, so people are more likely to take the alarms more seriously, and also just reduce things general anxiety in general. False alarms can cause a lot of problems, also they can cause firefighters or other things, people to come to an emergency when it turns out there's no emergency. So now they can't deal with an emergency as well that might be happening, happening somewhere else because they've come to your place or something like that, or they may have more, more going down. Or you could save them money and apply it to somewhere else like healthcare. Picking out more um, varied noises and stuff like that. And I meant noise, not no nose, can could also be a great idea. The beeps if when all the alarms sound identical, it can be hard for you to fill out one because they all sound identical so you don't know which one to pay attention to. They can also be more disruptive because they all add up together more, instead of more like a white noise landscape. 
that might be more relaxing and soothing in a variety of ways. Figuring better timing for things so not all the noise just happens at once. So we don't have the lawn mowers and blowers in early in the morning waking up everyone. Or something like that. That could hugely be one. Also, if we time stuff right, there might be less accidents because people might be more awake and more in the mood to do stuff, reducing emergencies even more. Maybe if it was a stagnant period, there's less of a rush, so there's less of a rush hour, so there's less noise that way. A bunch of things could be done. Another idea, kind of along all these lines, is to have more personal alert systems so you have headphones on and it only lets the people with headphones on set to a certain standard or, or something like that. Or you have a comp system that calls up specific people or sends, um, or even something, it's omnidirectional sound beams like laser beams almost that could talk to you, talk to you only, no one else can hear it. There's all sorts of different ways of doing this, from very sophisticated to not very sophisticated, but all of them could reduce the overall clutter of noise in an area. Making more um, soundproofing in certain areas could help reduce noise and spread of noise. So it's having bathroom stalls being a little more soundproof. So when there's flossing stuff, there's not just as much sound spread or certain walls and buildings. And you can also make soundproofing so it eliminates certain frequencies more than other frequencies. So certain alarms can pass through and people are yelling and calling for help. Other things like traffic and stuff might not be able to pass through, lowering the sound, making it quieter for you. Oh yeah, we could also make like honking cars more directional in some ways, so it's only like honks, only people in front of you directly hear it. Making common environments in general could help people, even if it doesn't get rid of the sound because they're more relaxed and with more of the white noise. So planting more shrubbery, more trees, having stuff not as crowded, having less of a hustle and bustle, that all could add secondary benefits. So another idea is to just make is to figure out where to put workplaces and stuff better situated so there is less noise and less disruptive. Maybe we can have workplaces not in the center of cities or something for certain things so they make less noise. Or we could have to work or really noisy things in a certain location so it doesn't impact other people as much. Or we can have them isolated with soundproofing or something. And we can also just talk about like workplace culture and stuff like that. Another thing is just to um, talk about the distractions too and give people better warnings, but also raise awareness, um, raise awareness and stuff like that. And also promote the idea of maybe people wearing earphones and stuff like that more often and getting rid of any and saying that these earphones are a great idea, and that they're not used. Another thing is just to promote um, a new culture and stuff like that, so that gets rid of it, it really value calmness and serenity and less noise. And lastly, which is also kind of culture and everything else, is making more spaces where we have different expected noise level. So for example, having libraries and stuff where it's always quiet, but having also loud places with music and everything playing around all the time, but having more well-defined spaces, and we want to respect these spaces so different people can have a loud, noisy, bustling if they want it, or not. Well, that's about it for now. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe if you help send it out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers in a year and four thousand watches. This is really hard, but with your help, I think we can do it. Of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below.
Again, thank you very much. Goodbye.